Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another NBA 2K17 Pro Am game. We are going against the Vegas Knights squad today as they start off with a dunk. They're an elite three team, so they got that Gatorade sponsorship that our team is lacking. Their record was 61 and 8 entering this game, so they're no joke. Haven't lost too many games, we're hoping to hand them their ninth one so far as they go inside and early on. That was their bread and butter. A lot of teams you see with great records and stuff like this. They'll have sharpshooters and they'll be pulling up threes, setting screens everywhere. This team was all about the Bash Brothers inside. They do it again. The power forward, especially on the offensive end, which is dunking the ball with no resistance inside. Michael being a stretch big, not always can be the best defender in the paint. So that's kind of a weakness. Teams can take advantage of that. You see Brian inside. No one's even close to him, but that guard who's just got his hands up, begging for mercy right now. We had the death lineup out. And unfortunately, it's been dead to us so far. We got to a slow start right here, though. Michael from way downtown is going to knock down the three to inches back close into this game. You see, this guy is going to get a screen, pull up the three, and knock it down right there. I mentioned these guys didn't shoot too many threes. That was one right there. So, last video, I called the death lineup of myself, Michael, Josh, Walsh, and Brian. We had the defensive stopper out once again, though. We showed it a couple of videos ago as they throw a weird lob right there that's actually completed. And then Josh is at the point guard spot with his playmaker <laughs> as they get the end one inside they are on a rack attack right now michael with a bad three right there but brian on the offensive glass michael's gonna make up for it by finding us open and we can knock down that jumper all day you see that's an a rating as we get the rebound right there that was good defense in the paint outlet pass josh trying to make something happen inside no outside to walsh but look at walsh trying to do what they're doing attacking the rim right now that's what this game is all about especially when jump shots like that do not fall down wide open shot from josh right there not able to get it to go down by four down by six now they are just finding the open man rolling to the rim and once once they get that ball inside, once they get that positioning as that step back jumper is good, they just don't miss, especially the power forward. Like I said, he is just going off as we find our power forward. Michael, he's able to spot it from mid. That's the advantage we get from him. They can dunk it. We get the jump shot. So we also get the nice defense right there to steal. We're pushing it. We're kicking it in the corner. Walsh, bang. That's going to tie the game up. Slow start, but we're right back in this one. And we're scrapping this game out so far. Both teams playing pretty evenly. Nice alley-oop right there. Once again, the cutting big man. That is their MO right now as Walsh inside again with his playmaking point forward as once again look at that cutting big man that's their offense but they got the stretch outside knocking down the three right there so just a lot of things to watch so they got a good strategy as we get an open three of our own and michael eventually gets the friendly bounce to even it back up so yeah i so said they have a good strategy they're going inside outside wide open right there but they actually missed the shot we catch a break near the end of the half josh pushing walsh inside is able to finish in traffic and give us a three point lead. You guys see the statistics, and the first thing you can see they have more free throws, and more than that, they probably are winning this rebounding battle. You can't tell too much because we haven't missed too many shots, but you know, it feels like they're getting more rebounds, and that's gonna be a foul on them after the three pointer is able to fall down. As you guys see, we turn the ball over a sloppy start to the second half. They're running, they're looking in the paint, and Walsh can't do anything about that one. On the offensive end, I feel comfortable what we're doing right now. See, we have good ball movement. Nothing really that we're taking advantage of right now. No one's really got the mismatch. We just have good ball movement. We're trying to find the open man and just use all the 24 seconds to eventually find someone. These guys also doing about the same. I mentioned they're finding the cutters, but they're spreading it out. They're getting everyone involved right now. As you see, that guy was open. He actually passed out into the shot clock inside to the shooting guard who puts up a post hook at the end of the shot clock and is able to get it to go that's a contested three that's no good but the ball is knocked loose michael at it and instead now there they are dunking once again seven point lead oh my goodness if he would have thrown that down instead walsh is out and up with the layup 
that was a big game changer right there nine point lead nope now it's a five point lead after that that was a contested shot that's not gonna go down and we are out they were trying to crash the offensive glass for pretty much every anyone possible and their guards were inside walsh and i you know we just leaked out we we're able to finish right there as we find out we're cutting big man brian inside back out to josh once again the good passing on display the good ball movement and that's what we're all about right now everyone getting involved trying to just keep the defense on their heels the ball moves faster than the players can do as you see just inside domination right now and it's just you know we just, we're just not getting bigs from our uh, our rebounds from our bigs right now we got one right there near the end of the actually it's the beginning of the fourth quarter and we're starting it off with a dunk it's a scrappy game i said early on just continues to be that way you know just, you don't see many screens being set or anything like that it's just you know both teams playing very well right now it's going to come down to who makes the least amount of mistakes more than anything else turnovers can decide this game as well as any more offensive rebounds as michael hits the wide open three back and forward windshield wiper game end of the shot clock with the ball step back three good oh man what a shot this guy's starting to heat up in the fourth quarter he was putting up a goose throughout he said two consecutive shots walsh wide open eventually pulls the mid and is able to get to go to tie the game up we're setting good screens out here as well with the defensive stopper we're a little bit limited on the offensive end so these screens trying to help our teammates get open definitely key as they get inside they get two more points to that power forward who is eating but our guy can hit three that's something their guy can't do our guy can give us the lead on that play under two minutes to go three pointer is no good but the rebound is good for them oh man great bounce for them and they get the dunk on top of that we're open in the corner look at us spotting up you don't think we can hit this right oh yes we can the defensive stopper can do it all minute 37 seconds left dancing with the ball down to inside and they just continue to just rinse and repeat rinse and repeat especially in this fourth quarter they're spotting the mismatch now we just gotta take we just gotta take like you know a little bit more pressure inside it just feels like you know we're giving up these cuts way too often as the block is called a foul like maybe not you know play the big man so hard i don't know i'm not inside that paint but we just gotta make an adjustment on the fly right now if we want to win this game because it's slipping away we are down to before anything we gotta get a shot up and that was for the lead but it goes in and out for josh who just consistently cannot buy a bucket ball both loose we get the steal walsh up ahead dunking it and one this free throw is for the lead what a clutch play and a perfect release on the free throw the steal the and one the one point lead now time for some defense you know they're trying to go in the paint but they can't even get it in an unfortunate turnover dribbling it out of bounds 43 seconds left brian inside sometimes brian has some pure domination games this was a little bit of a quiet game for him but he had a big bucket right there down three points they don't need the three right here in the post inside throwing it out of bounds indecisive this is, might cost them the game right there he was thinking about putting the shot up there was good defense passed out too late now we have a three-point lead trying to kill some clock also looking to get the potential dagger bucket passing the ball we still got time on the shot clock 10 seconds left walsh cutting inside doesn't put it up josh with the ball and brian's gonna call a timeout with five seconds left i believe he was about to get an offensive three so he calls that reset the offense inbound to josh inside brian gotta put it up and no good they get the rebound and a chance to tie the game with 5.1 seconds needing a three they really only have one designated shooter and that is their small forward so all eyes are on him they inbounded a, a shooting guard right here slot the offense end of the game is blocked that is the ball game great block by michael right there like i said they just didn't really run much of a set at the end i don't really know what they were trying to do and um I mean, this small forward kind of got open. Walsh was a little bit behind, got screened. But Michael and I were able to play some good recovery defense and solidify the victory right there. So, scrappy game. They were a good squad, man. Credit to them. They definitely, you know, played well enough. We just were able to get a few more clutch plays and pull it out. So, leave a like in the video if you guys enjoyed that video. Subscribe for more Man or Man 17 if you want, as well as 2K17. And until then, I'll catch you guys next time.